European School of Hematology is, uh, in my view, the most active and most important activity of uh, teaching and interaction of younger scientists and physicians in hematology. The ESH is so creating an atmosphere of, um, of tutorship, mentorship, uh, where we take responsibility to not only exchange our ideas between experts, but also try to give the younger investigators the feeling that they are important and that this is a fascinating field. We have a scientific committee. We plan our program two to three years in advance. The quality of the chairs and its network and the quality of the, of the teacher is very important. And one important thing we stress is that it should be new and educational. I think ESH has kept this format of having less presentations per session. That's instead of having 10 minutes like at EHA or at CHASH, we have generally 20 to 30 minutes or sometimes 45 minute conferences that gives time for to de give details, also time for questions. If we look at what we are doing, we are trying to keep the information on many subjects as, uh, as new as possible, as innovative as possible. And very often the teachers present uh, data which have never been published or presented elsewhere. Once it's uh, having a unique teaching program that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world, trying to attract uh, specialists from many, many different parts of Europe, but also from very different backgrounds. And uh, I think this is very important for the development of the field in hematology. We are holding that in, in particular in countries that are less affluent than uh, European or countries or US, but still have a certain economic level that allows them to have access to, to most important drugs. Today, in hematology, a huge amount of scientific and educational new information is generated. And it is almost impossible to understand and digest all that information. And what the school does is, by organizing these conferences, is providing a way of digestion, allowing people to understand what is important, how interactions take place. The interaction between scientists and physicians is the creating the momentum for future developments. And it's good that the Europeans lead this way, um, because there is not a similar activity of this kind in the United States, for example.